are on the brink of a new era. This year, at the Mobile World Congress, artificial intelligence is at center stage. Let's discover the latest innovations. This is the largest and most influential mobile event in the world. This year, all eyes are on AI and how it can transform our lives or how it's already reshaping it. Phone makers are bringing the AI revolution into their devices. Smartphones are becoming even smarter. AI should be make our life easier. Now today, it's almost all the devices connect to the internet. But how to manage them? It feel noisy. But if AI is working, can help you. They can understand your requirement and help you arrange your potential service. Uh, I think in the future, this kind of you know the AI capability and service can make us very very convenient. Let's take a closer look at how AI is reshaping personalized experiences for mobile users. For instance, the Honor Magic 6 Pro, launched internationally at the Mobile World Congress, is able to track your eyes so you can interact with your phone without touching it. Here, what I really like is the eye tracking feature, which allows me to either answer or reject calls or accept messages as such, you know, which is a cool new way of interacting with technology all around. And this will form uh, the future basis of interacting with technology where devices are no longer uh, in the hand but around us. With this other useful feature, users can easily track an address mentioned in a message and link it to the appropriate Maps app. No need to copy-paste or to rewrite. Congress hosts insightful debates with experts delving into the complexity of artificial intelligence, from exploring the capabilities and limitations of generative AI to assessing its real-world impact and potential. What will AI bring to devices, not only today, but into the future? The AI models will start to learn more and more about your habits and what you do and where you go and how you do it and what you want from that model to be done for you. You get immediate response because it's local and it runs super fast. So there's no time delay between your request going to the cloud and coming back. The future holds boundless opportunities. However, amidst this excitement, privacy and security remain paramount concerns for users. So uh, this is why that we developed on-device AI and uh, cloud AI capability. So on-device AI, all data is processed based on your phone. It cannot, you know, the, your private data, sensitive data cannot go to the internet. So that when you, even in the airplane mode, offline, then it works. AI is literally everywhere, not only on devices. Aerial vehicles will navigate the skies autonomously thanks to the integration of 5G networks and advanced AI-powered systems. But who is behind this technology? The limits are dependent on the training data, algorithms and ethics provided by humans. Human IC and artificial intelligence is one of the themes here, and it really goes back to this idea that we need to make sure that there is the human component that we're thinking about, right? And it really is around governance, it's around best practice, and it's around making sure that when we put these tools into place, that we are, I mean, ultimately just thinking about the human aspect. It's redefining the boundaries between the digital and physical worlds. This lady robot, Annika, has probably been one of the most visited at the Congress. She's able to interact and even to remember us. What's your name? My name is Annika. My name is Lorenzo. Ah, oh, Lorenzo again. Hello. It's you. Yes. Hello again. There is my journalist friend. How are you? The scientist and writer Arthur Clarke said that any advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And every year, the Mobile World Congress brings us closer to magic.